Hey guys, how's it going? This is Alex with Algebra Help, and in today's video, guys, we'll be taking a look at how to jailbreak iOS 7.1.x. And by 7.1.x, I mean 7.1.1 or 7.1. Uh, anyway, this is a Chinese application called Pangu, and it is only compatible with Windows machines. So you can either do it on a virtual machine like me or on a Windows PC. So I will have the application down in the description below so that you can download it. So here I have my iPod Touch 5th generation running iOS 7.1.1 and there is the demonstration of that. You can see on the version it's a 7.1.1. And with that set aside, let's go ahead and begin. There is no CDO right there, just a few applications. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up the application and actually before we open it make sure you have iTunes installed you do need iTunes uh, and I believe updated to the latest version because yesterday I tried it without iTunes and I could not jailbreak my device so you don't need to have iTunes installed anyway let's go ahead and open the application click on run and it's gonna open there we go and you see that everything is in Chinese uh, however, you do not need to be an expert <laughs> in Chinese in order to jailbreak. However, you need to uncheck the box, uh, the only box right there, uh, just so that anything extra does not get installed. And before clicking the jailbreak button, we have to go into our settings, then general, and then date and time. And we need to set the date to June second. I don't know what. I do not know why. However, it is a requirement in order for the jailbreak to begin. Uh, so the time does not really matter. The only thing important is that the date is set to June second. If you do not set it to June second, the jailbreak will not begin. Anyway, with that set aside, we can click on jailbreak. And uh, the first time that I click on jailbreak, I actually did a little mistake uh, because you'll see in a second that uh, the jailbreak begins right there, everything normally, and an application appears on your device, uh, the Pengu application. And the first time I did not click on it, and after a while it disappeared, and I was like, what the heck? And then I watched the video, and actually you do need to click on the application. So again, I'm gonna click on the jailbreak button right there, which is a few question marks, probably because it mine is a virtual machine, probably if you're on a Windows PC it will show something or not however as you can see I'm gonna click again and in a second the Pango application is gonna appear on my iPad touch and eventually I'm gonna click on it and it will open and I'm just gonna click on continue and it will proceed with the jailbreak and obviously I'm fast forwarding this because if I do not fast forward you're gonna be sitting here about 10 minutes and I really do not want that for you. Uh, normal stuff as jailbreak goes, it takes a little bit of time, uh, it goes through the progress, you do not need to touch your device and uh, pretty much this is everything for the PC part, just be patient, again I'm just gonna fast forward through this and when your device restarts, uh, just slide to unlock and again click on the Pango application and it'll keep on with the jailbreak, it'll restart a few times, uh, if it takes a little bit of time do not get nervous, uh, it is normal, just go ahead and sit back and relax and now we do have Cydia right there and I just let that load uh, so eventually now we can open Cydia and you will see that Cydia is loading normally I'm just gonna fast forward through the uh, preparing file system just be patient with that your device will respring after the file system is done and after that you can launch Cydia normally so uh, here my device is back again and I'm just gonna insert my passcode slide to unlock and there we see Cydia and we can open it and it's gonna open as normal so uh, we're jailbroken. So there it is, Cydia, welcome to Cydia, right there, uh, with its new icon, which is iOS 7 typish, and you can see down below it says iPod Touch 5G on iOS 7.1.1, Cydia 1.1.12, so that is really good, we are jailbroken on iOS 7.1.1, and Cydia is working perfectly fine, uh, it shows the sources, the changes, the installed packages, and the search option. Anyway, again, uh, if I go into settings and then I go into general about, we are on iOS 7.1.1, so there is no cheat. The jailbreak is pretty reliable, however, um, if you're on iOS 7.0 point something, uh, really for the moment I would not recommend updating since there are not many compatible applications with iOS 7.1.1. Anyway guys, this has been all for this video, I really hope you did enjoy it. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, please leave them down below, I will be glad to answer them. And I hope you have an amazing day, until next time. Bye-bye.